What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, somebody, um, well, Hot Tea Hot, tea, hot Chocolate told me that somebody told her to tell me that they wanted me to go back and react to this particular video at 11 minutes because Blueface actually asked Krishan to come to Vegas, not Krishan telling Blueface to come to Vegas because Blueface was already in Vegas. Okay, let's get into it. Because, uh, yeah, I, I know I'm starting it at nine minutes, but it's for a reason. Oh, okay, we're going to get these, okay? I'm going to get all of them, something. These, these, the ones you had in your hand, that's yeah, three. Yeah, the babies. All right, so let's get you, them. All right, we're coming back because you got to restart. Yeah, no, I got you. You got my info so we can figure it out. But what size you wear? You want some? Oh, then I want some. I got you. I bless you. You all like, they on me. Boy, you the rich one. <laughs> you the okay. rich one. <laughs> I don't know, but look. What size you wear? You got some of your with my money, huh? What you doing with your money, actually? Let me talk about that. You investing? What you doing? Oh yeah. Looking into I a house and a car. Money. Normal. Sh Normal. Sh yeah. She did that though. She did. A uh, crazy ass went back, but she did it. All right. So what you wear? Seven women, seven and a half boys. What do you wear? Six and a half boys. Uh huh. Damn. All right, the ice what? is cold. Uh, I'm freezing nice. in here. Oh, thank that's really you. Nice. That's very nice. That's like, what are you saying, Dan? Yeah, what's it? Big ass watch. Oh, oh, oh you should go to one of the What's up, Blair? Nah. What do you uh, want? Jordans? Yeah. Kobe's? Jordans? Some shit I can wear with oh. your outfit. Some shit I can wear with this. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. This go right with it. Oh, the foot, the foot. Take the right shoe off. Oh, they are. The mummies and the glow in the dark on the bottom. The mummies. Look at the eyes on the back. It's always watching you. He said, let me pop a squat. That's hard. Trust me on this. I'm just probably 550. Them shoes on his feet, I paid 500 for. Are they hard? Where's the other one? Uh, I want to display. All right. You can try that one on if you want. Yeah, I want, I want to wear these go. And then what? Should I get, I want, I don't, I'm in a rush. I'm trying to catch a flight. Where well, were you headed? Vegas. Oh, you're in Vegas? What's in Vegas? Oh, it's Memorial Day. My man's in Vegas, bro. He's, oh, your man's in Vegas? He's toxic ass. He's okay. yeah. he living his best life out there. Nah, not without me. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's so stupid. So he was already in Vegas and he called her to come to Vegas. So call right now. If you don't answer, that means he's being toxic. Why he called? <laughs> I, I answered. He, I'm not about to call him again. No respect. Y'all want to see what he said? What did he say? <laughs> see what blue face said. <laughs> what did he say? Let's be I messy. I missed my... Missed my... Little crib. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm yo. on my way to Vegas, babe. <laughs> oh, this is a classic. Okay, so y'all remember when Wack was like, um, nah, Krishan was the one who had him come out there basically saying that, oh, whack your daddy now, whack your daddy now. So turns out Blueface was already in Vegas. Now, they did go several times, but two of the times, maybe even three of the times, they was with um, Lemmy and Zeus. So I'm just, I just wanted to remind y'all of that. Then that was the time or around the time she was pregnant. So if that is the case, then he is the one who wanted her to come out there first, just like we said in the first place. So if y'all didn't watch it, go watch um what's his name? Uh neighborhood talk. Is it neighborhood talk? Hollywood Unlocked. Go watch Jason Lee's interview with Wack 100 and you'll see Wack 100 said basically Krishan is it blueface is locked up because Krishan did whatever she did to that girl. Blueface stole her phone and got violated off his probation. So that's why he locked up right now. So y'all told me to react to it. I did. I'm about to put something else after this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we're going to get into DJ sky response to Roly. Roly said that she doesn't believe that, um, DJ sky should be a baddie. I don't know what made her say that, but child, they got DJ Sky feeling some type of way. For those that didn't watch my video, I reacted to Roly's whole 20v1, actually. And um, it's on there. This was the scene of when she said it. She said, damn, I thought we was cool, but that's her opinion noted. So I'm not a real life baddie in y'all or whatever. This is... Uh, and y'all, this a baddie books. I don't know. Okay. Not a baddie, but stay in their mouth. That's for sure, which is a fact. And she said, damn, it's re it really sucks how people 
try and play on my name for real and I'd be so nice shake my head um I guess this role is saying thank you boo and DJ Sky was reposting and speaking on her weight loss of course nobody believes believes until you show them and I'm glad everything worked out in your favor happy mother's day blah 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 I mean you see she wasn't responding so but anyway sign to get Roly off the show now um for real though thanks to everyone for always supporting me through it all y'all ain't never hate me this much I don't know what that was about oh why this petition so DJ Scott was taken up for um I don't need a show to have I don't need a show to have or get attention. I'm on big stages and platforms and working with working with and for real <laughs> celebrities most days a week. I really have motion in real life. Take care of everyone around me. Uh, great mom seven days a week. So I'm going to always respond if I feel my name is not spoken on properly, period. Now that's a baddies. <laughs> okay. Girl, I'll be over here reading some of this stuff and they make me feel like I can't read. I'll be like, oh, Lord, I'm losing it. Oh, my God, my brain cells. I'm sick of it. Let's read some of these comments, child. LMAO, once again, Sky is a Leo. Exactly. And you know what's so crazy? I started to say when I was, was talking about this that Sky is Leo. Of course, they don't like her. And, um, yes, yeah, somebody took it right out of my mouth. <laughs> Not followers. We see, I don't know, SB, somebody else already leading natalie we gonna go do our own thing they don't like her because she true to herself lmao i'm not a fan favor of sky but i love her aura because she a leo just like me hello just like me too this whole dj sky hate train starting to become a reach now um girl if you feel like you're a baddie then that's how you feel and that's how you consider yourself at the end of the day, though you were only on the show to be a babysitter to rock and make sure she was make sure she was got to places on time and you could barely do that. And then you were supposed to be a DJ and could bar <laughs> and barely DJed. Anyway, I don't really like Roly, but she gave her opinion and did speak facts. Natalie said it out her mouth. You're just a DJ and you on stage with Kanye. I wouldn't give a F. <sighs> DJ Sky is a vibe all the time. I do think she um, can be very much op opportunistic. Um, she be jumping in things that I just feel like it don't be none of her business sometimes. And I mean none of her business in the sense of you, these are your peers. You know what I'm saying? So when you jumping in one house from this house to the next house to the next house, you kind of look a little thirsty. You kind of look like you want to be involved real bad. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I get from DJ Scott. But I do feel like she's a beautiful woman and she just, hold, she does hold her own. Uh, she was a little confused as to why she was fired, but she don't even understand. God just move on to the next um, stage of life, which would be way better than the baddies. Now, granted, the baddies probably was giving her a great coin, but it's bigger coins other places. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. DJ Scott need to tap into the WNBA right now and DJ for a fever game or something or a Chicago game, which because I like Andrew Reese and Caitlin Clark. Okay. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.